An organisation like MPI are intrinsically um, embedded in the local economy. They could be a huge linchpin for the future development of the Tees Valley area. They work with businesses across different industries, different sectors, and I know that they're working extremely hard to feed into the different sector plans that will inform our local industrial strategy, which will see us plan ourselves for the, for, the, for the foreseeable future. The Materials Processing Institute does research and innovation for industry. We primarily work with energy intensive industries in materials such as steel and ceramics and cement and we help them to commercialise their innovations so take them to the point that they are useful to make money from in industry. I'm impressed by the leadership of the MPI and the, the fact that they look much further than their own, than their own border, borders. I think it's important that they have a vision which they clearly do have for the region. They, they feed into various sectors, various industries and they know the direction of travel. What's really important for the Institute is that we have access to the expertise that we need so it's all really about the brain power of the people who work here and of course in the Tees Valley with the um, industry that we have around here, the chemicals industry, um, our history of manufacturing and in steel and so on, there are a lot of really highly skilled uh, people who can work in innovation. Uh, but also the Tees Valley as well because it has this kind of industrial ecosystem around it. it. It attracts a lot of attention because we work internationally. Um, and so there are the supply chains here for international businesses that we can work with. Um, and so that it, it helps us to really stretch out around the world.